They don't know that we are here right now. It's a surprise. Jumbo Zack and Kimberly! So about a month ago, I found out that my friend Zach was marrying his girlfriend, Cambry. So they're getting married on August 31st, 2019. Let's get started. So then began the dilemma. What the heck do I get them for a present? Zach's already got everything he wants. His Toyota truck, all the Moe's picks in the world. He built a stinking elevator inside of his living room. He made a neon sign of our What's Inside logo. Am I gonna buy him some pots and pans and a knife? What do you give a guy that, <laughs> what do you give a guy that already has basically everything that he needs in life? The only thing that I've given him as a gift has been like, I gave him a thousand Tootsie Rolls once. Hey, take to your office. <laughs> We've got 90 pounds of Tootsie Rolls for you. And also when we went to Japan, we gave him a Trump squishy because he doesn't like Trump very much. We thought it'd be funny. So now their wedding is fast approaching and I had to start scrambling and thinking, what can I give these guys for their wedding present? So Zach and Cambry, this video is your wedding present. And no, it's not gonna be me just sitting here the whole time. Right now, if you haven't noticed, I'm not in Utah anymore. This is Mombasa, Kenya. That's right, you can't actually touch your wedding present unless you wanna to come to Kenya and see it. Claire and I flew here for one day and for one reason. got a crowd. Okay, Claire. We pulled up to a school and uh, it looks like they knew we were coming. Or else they're waiting for someone else. You know, they're waiting for you. They're waiting for us? Guys. They're waiting for us. the first school we've been to today. Um, they're taking us by the hand and taking us in. Hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi. High five. High five. Yes. Lots of high fives. Look at all those high fives. Yes. Yes. How's it going through? Did you make some friends? Everybody's... Now they're all going to class, Claire. Look how fast they go to school. They're so excited to go to class. <laughs> These are the old classrooms. You can see them with the mud walls, with the dirt floors. This is a third grade classroom that is currently used. But for the longest time, for years and years and years, this room only had dirt floors. And the kids would still come here, they still have their paper, and they would still do their homework and still do all their work in this room on the dirt floors. Until some nice donors, Take a look, it says Traeger and Brianna Oleska. This is a different one, the Burnett family. All of these desks were donated by donors. They gave money to Coins for Kenya, and then these desks were built by local Kenyans. And so the cool thing about it is that it provides a desk for kids to actually do their work on, but then it also provides jobs for people to learn different skills on how to build desks. They have it milled into this really thick wood. And why does it matter that it's thick? Well, some of the desks that people make here are on really, really thin wood, and they just don't last that long. This should last 20 to 30 years, and three to four students can sit on these desks. They are made with screws. There's a lot of screws in here. There are no screws to be found anywhere in Kenya. Every year, the groups that come out, they'll put maybe 10 pounds of screws inside of their luggage. Someday, hopefully, some donors will donate some more money, and then they can build some real walls and some, some concrete floors and walls here, but for now, the kids are happy. They can actually have desks now, at least. That's an upgrade. And then when they get to the older grades, they can go into this school over here or this school over here that was just built within the last few years that was paid for by donors. So this right here, you're looking at the principal's office. He has a nice little desk and chair here. The principal's office is in the older part of the building. What grade is this one? This level two. Le second grade? Level class two. two. Class two. Hi. Level two. Look at all this math they're working on here. Nice. Hi. Good morning, class. How are you? We are Fine, thank you. Sit down. We are sitting down. This is class. Wow. Again, we're getting my coffee. So, I'm 
Oh, that's cute. Do you so think of this school thing? Is it different than in America? Yeah, it's very different. <laughs> Okay, we made it to the school for the whole purpose that we came down here, and uh, we've got a few people that want to greet us. <laughs> All right, Claire. I can't even open up the door. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can't even open it. <laughs> your hair too so this basically is uh, kind of the grand opening this is the official uh, ribbon cutting of this particular school that uh, just got finished about a week ago this is this is a big deal He recognized us and gave us this. Now we are showing appreciation by giving him our name. He belongs to us. His name. His name is No. What name are you giving to us? Buche. These desks say Zach and Cambry on them. I am a Dawati and I'm a Jinayawatu. They like helping people in the world. They are getting married on August 31st, 2019. <laughs> Just so you guys know, halfway across the world, you guys getting together is making a positive impact on the world. We wish you many, many years together. Someday come to Kenya and meet these kids and see the school that has your desks in it. Zach and Cambry, this is your classroom, basically, right here. I know that this is a present for Zach and Cambry, but I do have to say that I've probably gained more out of this experience of meeting these kids, meeting the people, and just seeing the impact of what a relatively small dollar amount can do over in America to impact these kids for generations, like literally for generations. If you guys wanted to help us build a school, we are going to have a donation button in here and all the money is going to go for Killians for Kenya. It's a new thing that YouTube has on there. It's like a donation thing. I think he's gonna be okay without me buying him some pots and pans. Let's head home. Okay. Goodbye, Kenya. Any last words to Kenya? Any last words to Zach and Cambry for them getting married? Oh, congratulations! <laughs> <laughs> Jazz hands even. Wow, that is a gift right there in itself. <laughs> yes, no need to applaud. Okay, okay, well, I'll hold my applause.